Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and a very good afternoon to all my students. So, how are you today during the MCO period? Uh, fine, thank you, teacher. Alhamdulillah. Okay, hoping everybody stay at home and also stay safe. Right, so before you proceed, allow me to share my slide. Okay, so... Right, can you see my slide? Uh, no teacher, not yet. Not yet, alright. So, okay. So now, okay. Okay, yes, can you see my slide? All right, very good. Okay. So, let's start our lesson today. Okay, one more time. Welcome uh, to all my students. Okay, so today, I would like to share a learning path to success in examination. Okay, which I'm going to introduce a new slot, which is to share with you techniques on how to answer certain popular questions that students often confuse or do not know how to answer. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is our previous lesson. Okay, uh, we already have explored the structure of typical plant cell and typical animal cell. Am I right? Yes, teacher. All right, so by observing the generalized view of uh, diagram for both diagram, so I want to have a, a quick thing. Okay, if plants and animals are so similar on a cellular level, so why do you why do they seem so different when you observe them very close? Anyone? Um, because they have different life function. All right, very good. Okay, because they have different cellular setting to perform life. Good. Okay, now uh, in other <coughs> teacher would like to share uh, answering question techniques. Okay, so for our question today is we are looking at the previous uh, lesson. Okay, there's differentiate. Okay, the structure between animal and plant cell. Okay, so the task word is differentiate. So which carry eight marks? So we are how are we going to answer this question? Okay, now uh, we proceed with uh, looking at the task word. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, sounds very easy, right? But students often make a silly mistake. So, uh, first, firstly, teacher would like you to look at the two diagrams given. Okay, so where we can see that on the left is the plant cell. Okay, and whereas uh, on the uh, right is the animal cell. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay. So, there are many similarities for these two cells. Previously, we have learned a nucleus, okay, we, we, where teacher writes an S1, right, and then mitochondria is an S2, ribosome is an S3, okay, Golgi aspiratus is S4, okay, next, what else? Um, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, okay, and also rough endoplasmic reticulum, yes, very good, okay, this is the similarity, but actually, now we are looking at the differences okay so just now the question asks you about the differences so let's start with uh, plant cell obviously okay we can see these the first difference is chloroplast okay and the second difference is the cell wall okay and the third difference is plasmodesmata repeat after me afiani um, plasmodesmata. Okay, very good. Now, next, we proceed to differences uh, on the animal cell. Okay, animal cells, we can see here. Okay, the, uh, uh, number four. Okay, the, dif the differences we can see is a centriole, having centriole in cell, uh, plant, animal cell. Okay, and then after that is a lysosome. Okay. So, do not forget also, we also will uh, see the differences in terms of barcode. 
Okay. So now let's see the five ob uh, obvious differences structure. Okay. So the first one like teacher mentioned just now, what is the first one? So it's a chloroplast. Okay, get it? All right, good. Okay, the yes. next one, number two, is the cell wall. Okay, this is the uh, obvious uh, structure that teacher mentioned just now. Okay, the number three, the differences that we can detect just now is the plasmodes mata. Okay, so next, in animal cell, we can see the centriol. Okay, whereas in animal cell, there's a centriol. Okay, and last but not least, for the obvious five different structure, okay, animal cell have lysosome, whereas in plant cell does not have lysosome. Okay, that's the five main one. Okay, another uh, point that teacher mentioned just now, okay, the difference number six is a vacuole. Okay, plant cell have a large central vacuole, whereas animal cell has only small vacuole. Okay, when we mention about vacuole, okay, uh, we also mention about the tonoplast. Okay, uh, vacuole is surrounded by a tonoplast, whereas there is no tonoplast in cell uh, in animal cell. Okay, another position of nucleus, peripheral. Okay, and in animal cell is a central. And last but not least is a flagella. Okay, animal cell have flagella. And extra point. Okay, is about the starch for carbohydrate. All right, now next. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is the way is answering of the, the question? Why this question is considered wrong? I any? Um, I think because it is uh, done in table form. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you are not allowed to answer in table form. Okay. Another way of answering. What do you think? Is it correct or wrong? Um, it's wrong. All right. I Definitely, it is wrong. Correct. Why? Okay. You see, yeah. The vacuole and the centriol. Okay, this, uh, this answers doesn't give uh, same structure. Okay, another way of answering it. These students, this candidate, write it uh, in different paragraph. So, which also shows a wrong way to answer it. Okay, so what is the best way? What is the correct way to answer this uh, differentiation question? So, this is the way. It is advisable to write every differences in different paragraph. Okay. And you are also advised to use conjunction word like teacher uses now, whereas. Okay. Whereas. Eh? So, one paragraph, one differences. So, that is the correct way or the perfect way you get. So, this is the perfect way how to answer it. All right, I think uh, that's all for our learning path today. Okay, so thank you uh, all my students for attending my class. Okay, so we see you again for the next lesson for the time being. Okay, thank you and see you. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Okay, so thank you again. And we meet again, right? Bye. Bye, teacher. Yeah. Thank you.